I have three news stories for you. Firstly, we have an update from Sudan. Sudanese Prime Minister just a short while ago issued a statement. Uh, Sudanese military is on high alert in Khartoum. Is there any sign of uh, reconciliation between Sudanese military and Sudanese politicians? We'll talk about that. Secondly, five TDF journals last night delivered a message. They appeared in a press conference. It was the first time that five TDF journals have appeared together. They have sent a very strong message. What's their message? Thirdly, some pictures of more TDF fighters on their way to front lines. And some updates about Aratian uh, commandos trying to enter Tigray from afar, according to Tigray allied news sources. Firstly, we Sudan. What's happening in Sudan? Yesterday, Sudanese military in Khartoum was put on high alert. Sudanese military units were sent this message and Sudanese military is on high alert. Tensions between Sudanese military and politicians are far from over. Protests in eastern Sudan still continuing viewers. And uh, now protests have started in Khartoum as well. Last night some protests were held near uh, Al Manshia bridge in Khartoum. People burnt tires as well. So instability which is in eastern Sudan in Kassala state is spreading towards other parts of Sudan as well. PM Abdullah Hamdok just an hour ago issued a statement. PM says that this fight is not between military and civilians. Fight is between those who are in support of democratic change and who are against this democratic change. Sudanese military is due to hand over the leadership of Sovereignty Council to Sudanese politicians in November. But Sudanese military is not willing to hand over Sovereignty Council to PM Abdullah Hamdok. That is why tensions are rising. Abdullah Hamdok says that tensions are not between military and politicians, but that is not what the reality is. Tensions are between Sudanese military and Sudanese politicians. Military does not want to hand over sovereignty council to uh, civilian politicians. Military says that fresh elections must be held now, earlier, because elections are going to be held in 2024. Military wants early elections. It wants to hand over sovereignty council to new elected government. But it is against the agreement signed in 2020 between Sudanese military and politicians. That is why Sudanese politicians want the leadership of sovereignty council. Tensions still there, no signs of easing of tension. Secondly, because last night, five TDF journals appeared together in a press conference. This is the first time that five top men of TDF have held a joint press conference. Last night was Damira, a celebration. Today is Maskell in Ethiopia. Because the message was delivered in connection with this religious festival, I think, because a very strong message, viewers. Uh, General Tadasse Varede, Commander-in-Chief of TDF, General Megbe, General Johannes, five TDF generals were there in the press conference. What did they say? They said, firstly, that uh, Ethiopian government, Addis Ababa, will not open any humanitarian corridor. And by any, they mean, uh, I believe uh, Sudan, uh, Western Tigray corridor. Secondly, they said, we cannot survive long if this situation continues. 
Yes, here I would agree with them that Tigray is under a siege on all sides. Aid is arriving, but uh, not uh, as much as is required. 100 trucks are required on daily basis, but uh, just a few are arriving on daily basis. And no fuel is being allowed to enter Tigray. So there is a worsening humanitarian crisis in Tigray. Uh, yes, Tigray cannot survive if situation continues. And thirdly, they said we'll have to open corridors ourselves. We'll fight. And that is what's happening. I have been saying for several weeks, this war will go on until TDF has a corridor. Tigray wants a corridor. That is what five TDF generals last night said. They said, we want a corridor, the delivery of aid to Tigray. So the war is set to go on. Yours. Thirdly, more TDF uh, fighters are on their way to Amhara region. Yesterday, some pictures were shared by uh, Tigray-backed news sources showing uh, trucks carrying TDF fighters on their way uh, somewhere towards Amhara region. TDF uh, has no shortage of manpower, just like Amhara forces, ENDF. No one has any shortage of manpower now. All sides have done massive recruitments. So Tigray Defense Force is sending more reinforcements from Tigray towards Amhara. Then we heard last night that some Aratian forces were trying to enter Tigray through a far region. Uh, some uh, Tigray-backed news sources claim that Aratian commando units were trying to enter Tigray through a far, but their attack on Tigray, their attempt to enter Tigray has been foiled. It has been repelled. Some uh, Tigray back news sources say that some Aratian commandos have been taken prisoner as well. We are waiting for some sort of visual confirmation about Aratian commandos taken prisoner by Tigray Defense Force. Uh, Afar Tigray border is also a busy front now, because though Afar forces have not launched a major offensive on Tigray, but on Afar Tigray, Afar Amhara border areas, reportedly fighting is underway.